Hello friends, this is Ryan Hicks at TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about men leading lives of quiet desperation. And of course by men I mean human, humanity. Henry David Thoreau is oft quoted for this one quote from Walden, chapter 1, page 8. The mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation. What is called resignation is confirmed desperation. From the desperate city you go into the desperate country and have to console yourself with the bravery of minks and muskrats, a stereotyped but unconscious despair concealed even under what are called the games and amusements of mankind. There is no play in them, for this comes after work, but it is a characteristic of wisdom not to do desperate things. My friends, I want you to think about this. This is so often seen in the games and amusements of people that is really concealing or trying to conceal their despair. And if you're going through life, leading a life of quiet desperation, you aren't living up to what you can as a Christian. If Christ is in you, the hope of glory, why would your life be this way? Why would your life be drudging, miserable, something you're just dreading? Many people have been sold this religion that you ought to be looking to heaven, looking to eternity. Meanwhile, you have a life here now. You're not here to live this life thinking about the next one. I'm not saying you don't think about the consequences, but you're supposed to be living right here and now, not living in the future, dream daydreaming in desperation, hoping for a future that's going to be better instead of making the present, the now, better. Because in the end, the only time you live is now. Even if it's an eternity future, when you're living, it'll be now. It won't be past. You're not living in the past. It won't be future, it'll be now. So you'll be living at that current moment, which will be the now. And that's what you need to be doing now. Living for the now. Living in a way that brings glory to God, in a way that is beneficial to you and your fellow man, in a way that is useful. Stop living for games and amusements to cover up this desperation. Get rid of the desperation once and for all and have a life that is glorious, a life that is good, a life that is blessed, a life that is prosperous, and a life that brings glory to God and blesses your fellow man. I pray it's been a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.